हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन डिस्टर्ब चैनल गाइस आई एम राम के सिंह यूटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो फ्रेंड इन टूडे ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ वी आर मल्टीप्लेयर यूजिंग द फ्यूजन टू इज वेल एज रिप्लेयर मी सो दिस पार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी वी विल क्रिएट अ स्मॉल यू आई ऑल्सो वी विल जस्ट कम्प्लीट द प्लेयर स्पॉनर स्क्रिप्ट वेयर इट विल हेल्प अस टू स्पॉन द प्लेयर एंड ऑल्सो देर वॉज सो मेनी कॉल बैक टू लेट्स स्टार्ट द टू डे वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन चैनल मेक्स योर सब्सक्राइब द चैनल यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दिस चैनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सपोर्ट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो बिकम द पेट्रियन ऑन माई पेज ऑल्सो यू कैन ग्रैब एनी सैम्पल्स इफ यू वॉन्ट एंड दिस सैम्पल लाइक वॉट एवर वी आर डूइंग टूटोरियल इट विल बी uploaded here after the completion of this series let's start the 2d video if you want to check out me so you can just check out me on my linkedin profile so here you can see we are in game and we have created one scene that is the game area so here we are doing all the thing and here is the player spawner so i'm just going to open but before opening what we have to do here we have to part is the network runner as i told you in last tutorial that uh, we have to add manually here searching for network runner so just by default we have added this one and add runner enable visibility so you can on this one so there is no any issue with it and just open this script and here what we can do so here we can sign our player so here is the player just assign here when this is so basically in last tutorial we done that how we can create the room and then we have also provided here reference so we have passed the reference now it is time to player instantiate so here you can see we have got so many callbacks so we have to utilize some like we will utilize player joint and as well as we will utilize player left basically these are the two and we can also use this third part on input till we will transfer from input here to on other player device so we will talk about later on this thing in my previous series we have not watched so i will request to watch because there are so many concept i have shared on this so you can check out internet is not working just open this script and we will write the code so here you can see that is a player joint so basically here we have to write some code so many callbacks so if you need you can reuse them but currently it is not necessary for us so just i am going to utilize these two things so here what we have to do we have to get the position so you can use the vector and player position so basically i am doing simplest thing to not wasting your time so you can do so many stuff like you can get many game objects in the this area so it is very empty so let me add something so that it looks great here is the plane and position you can do like reset position so it will be on zero position and you can do five and you can do five so basically for the position you can take multiple game object on multiple places in the array and then you can give any position from them so it is a basic concept you have to do yourself because uh, i'm not going to do i'm going to do very simple thing that is the vector 3 dot 0 means on the zero position i am going to instantiate my player and for instantiating my player i have to use network object network object here it will player reference and here we will use what we will use use network runner so we'll use network runner dot spawn so basically it will ask few parameter will be our player reference so you can say player prefab player prefab so here is our player prefab and here we have to pass our position so basically here you have to grab the position and on the basis of that you can pass here so it's depend on you so here we can pass the player position so simply just use this one now we have to pass the rotation so we are going to use union dot can use the ident and here we have to pass this reference player reference so as for many parameter basically it is a reference so you can see it's asked for many parameter uh, list which we have created here so here is the spawn characters so we have to utilize this one on characters and we are going to add so player reference is this one so we will pass the player so this is the key and value will be our player reference so use player reference okay so we are here on the player joint we have done this part and one very important thing i want to tell you that we are doing host and client mode so you have to understand that whatever state syncing like whatever you are giving input so you have the input authority but whatever you are giving so server you can say host have authority to just spawn the player or just transfer the any input system so here you have to one if condition what will be the condition so you can check network runner dot is server so if it is server like if it is a host or server basically host and server you have to understand that if you are in the game you are hosting the application so it means that you are the host you are the server and if you are joining so you are the client and if you are hosting 
uh, from a particular hosting service provider uh, website or server we says so at that time that will be a uh, that will be our server and you as a player will be joined so it is not that much complicated so i am not planning that thing i have explained in a very deeply in my series so here we are testing and here you can see that host or server have authority to instantiate the player host or server so host and server topology is same in the host you just insta you just start the game from the application in the server mode basically you just host your server your application in the future we will talk about that but we not in this series so let's see where we are going and here on the player left so basically it is for join so whenever player will left so basically we have to get null so at that time dictionary so we can use i get value that will be player and then this will be network object so you can see out network object and this will be simply network object okay so basically we are trying to get the value that player means this reference and it is the kind of network object so what we are doing so we have to de spawn so basically we have to use network runner dot d spawn and then this will be your network object and and we have to delete this object from the this so you can use remove and then you can use this player reference basically it is the key and this is the value okay great so now we have done the player instantiate part so this script is almost ready we have passed the references here is the network runner and we have to just instantiate this one so let's suppose I am running from here. So what is it is going to happen? So here you can see we are able to run, but we don't have something what that we are hosting or we are joining. So we have not done those thing. So what we have to do? So for the simplest thing, all the networking thing I am doing here, this area, what we have to do? We have to create a basic UI. So I am separating the scene so that you have a basic idea that what I am trying to do. That is the very simplest thing. So I want to make you sure that you are understanding the core concept. So here we have to take one canvas. So take one canvas. Here we can take world space. You know that everything works in the world space. And it is just turned on so that we can see how much it is big. And you can just reset the value. So currently it will be in this area. Okay. And now we have to use 0.0. .0 zero one because it is very big according to world space so here you can see this is the size we want to take the panel so take one panel so that we can see properly okay so now i think it is uh, right place join and host okay and here i have one script so basically we have to attach canvas so to save the time i have created this script that is the choose mode so whenever you want to want to play here we, you, if you are don't have man, so many player so you can choose from here like if you want to host so you can choose host if you want to join so you can want to join but if you want to just uh, want to go inside on the basis of the player choose join button or host button so you have to click here or here then it will work but if you don't want to click here so basically you have to choose host or join on the basis of that if you are hosting so you have to choose host otherwise you have to choose join otherwise it will be none okay so basically we have done this part and whatever we have taken the button here so we need our canvas so add this and here we have the canvas because we have attached this script here so for the join you can use join multiplayer host multiplayer so here is the host multiplayer and just let me go through this script so that you know that what we have written so basically it is the just nm type none host and join and this is the basically connection type which kind of connection we want so here you can see that if connection type so basically it is a connection type it is on the basis of that it is getting here and if it is connection type none so we have to not do anything it will work on the basis of ui selection and if it is connection type host so at that time we have to use host multiplayer if it is join so you have to use this one and what we have written there so basically we have used the player preps so that we 
get the value that what we are doing here is the on start it will be always set to mode 0 because it is the key in the player prefs and here is the gate mode so basically in the start it will call on the basis of that what selection you have made here okay so on the gate mode on the basis of that here you can see it is the host multiplayer so basically what we have done if it is host so on the game mode we are doing one because we want to know that if it is host host so game mode will be one if it, it will be joined so it will be two so if it is joined so here you can see we are passing set value game mode two yeah okay so here basically we are loading the scene okay great so this was the basic samples and done all the setup but in this we have not do anything on the player respond what we have to do so basically we have to call this method and here we have to pass so here we have to write two method that is the void so in that case we have to pass so basically in this mode first we have to check is not equal to null so at that time we have to call start game and this will ask about game mode so you can say game mode and this will be client okay and same we want to do so just copy player joint as a host so basically it is hosting so just uh, okay great so basically whenever this scene will be load so we have to call this method so here you can see we have not added the start method so if we can use click void and this is the start and here what we have to do so basically we have to write this code like we have know that game mode will be 2 so at that time we have to join multiplayer so basically we want to just call our this method whenever we want to join as a client so call this method and here player joined as a host so at that time we have to call this method whenever we are loading this scene so we have to call this so that on the basis of selection we perform this task. okay so if game mode will be two so it means we are joining as a client if it is any other thing so at that time we are just hosting the application write the code and everything is good here so here you can see everything is good here now we have to instantiate the player so let's see how it is working so for this we have to go on the rpm demo and we have created the ui but currently we are not using so i will create the build and i will show to you that how that is working in next part but currently i am just doing the host and let me choose and here you can see one thing i want to share on the fusion on the real time setting is the fixed region so if you want to join always in the same region in the same room so you have to do something a fixed region so you have to see that which region you have so currently i am nearest to asia so i am using the asia so that we always join in the same room with all players okay so let's suppose i am just hosting and here you can see on the choose mode i have do the host thing okay so currently we are not able to load scene what's happening so let me check so here you can see we have not given the scene where we want to go so just go and add game area here now it should load the scene so let's see how it is working so currently we are loaded this and let's see our player is getting spawned or not so currently we are not able to instantiate our player so let's see and what is going on here okay so i just cast the errors what i was doing mistake so here you can see on the player join as a host and player join as a client so i am checking that network runner is not equal to null so at that time i was doing but that is wrong you have to do equal to equal to null because whenever you are starting the scene so at that time network runner will be null so at that time it will be called so just make sure that you have done this thing after that you have the network runner and then after that you can check so i think that will work okay so let me check again let me check again and what going on and in next part i will show to you in the vr but currently we are doing here so anything will be not seeing so 
currently it will be just instantiate so make sure you have on the canvas you have done the host and then you have click here you are hosting the application so we are just loading game area and here we got our player so you can see this is the local player we have changed the name by using the player setup and currently it is network object we have added all this thing so everything is looking great so currently we are able to instantiate our player so nothing will be seen because we have not done anything so our player is coming like this so whenever you will wear the headset so it should fix or maybe we have to do something with the vrik to initialize is a local player so we will see in the next part so currently we are able to instantiate our player so see you next video and don't forget to like subscribe and share your like really inspire me to do much more tutorials and please support to become the patreon so that i can continue my journey you can also grab anything you want to from here for anything useful for you so see you next video bye bye take care